beauties it's ribbon here i go with another video how are y'all doing tonight i'm doing great thanks for asking it has been so long since i've said that like ah i have not done anything to myself in a very long time other than move and clean and organize and pack and unpack but we're definitely going to dive into that because today we're just doing a glam get ready with me chit chat mostly because i miss you guys i have not put makeup on in a very long time so we are going to see if i still know how to do it okay okay so i'm not going to talk about the products i use so much because all of these are products that i've already used in my past videos nothing new because i once again haven't done anything like buy makeup or try new makeup or anything of that sort so this is old same old same old same old hopefully not expired old but same old um so we're just gonna hop right into robin where the heck have you been okay so the last time i made a video or the last time i uploaded a video was i think three months ago like over three months ago and that video was even older than that i just shot it and uploaded it really late because i realized i wasn't going to have time to make a video <laughs> but i uploaded that and i haven't really done much else i've made some tiktoks a lot of them were drafts though a lot of them were just those simple tiktoks where it's just like you try out a trend or you try a filter or something of that sort i haven't really glammed myself up in months this is what happened so this foundation I actually picked up in the clearance section at Rite Aid and this is Rimmel London. I do like their stuff. This is full coverage and it has SPF in it. I love that. But this is supposed to last 24 hours and this is the shade Abnonia 600 Coconut. All right, so three months ago was Oh, that's, that's nice. Um, so right now we are in September. So what had happened was I had so many plans for the summer. I was so ready to vlog my birthday. I was so ready to get turned up and do all kinds of stuff. And then we had a little interruption. <laughs> It works. I mean, we did it again. <laughs> this is real. This is real. This is real. <laughs> so yeah, your girl got pregnant. Now, if I don't know if I told anyone, but me and Babe have been trying to have a baby for a while now. Um, we were ready to have our third and final child <laughs> and um we were like doing all the calculations following the calendars tracking everything we did you know you know all the normal stuff you do when you're actively trying to have a baby okay we were trying really hard back in the november october months because we really wanted to have a summer baby okay i don't know if that means like september october november we we wanted a summer kid okay or a, a kid removed away from the winter time okay it could have been fall it could have been spring we just did not want a winter baby because if you do not know my oldest daughter's birthday is january 22nd and my youngest daughter's birthday is december 13th so that being said we failed <laughs> yeah we failed miserably because i am due january 26th <laughs> Like y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. Like there is some, something that we're doing wrong or I am just extremely fertile around our birthdays and around our anniversary. Our anniversary is the end of February. His birthday is April. My birthday is May. And for some reason, that just seems to be the time to get things done, okay? So that being said, I found out like I normally do at like two weeks okay I always find out around two weeks okay find out around two weeks 
and I surprised Babe, like you saw in the video, because he was starting to get very, very upset. He was starting to think we weren't going to be able to. He was starting to think we were getting too old or something was going on to the point where we weren't going to be able to have our third child. And he was getting very discouraged and upset, you know. And we had stopped trying at that point because we did not want another winter baby. We were going to really wait for the season to roll all the way over and start again, right? But we um we're really excited nonetheless because like i said we've been wanting another kid and we wanted our third and final child okay now i'm doing quotation marks because i'm not really sure at this point if this is my final or not okay even though i've promised him three and i've succeeded at giving him three well almost succeeded at giving him three um i really love being a mom you guys, I really, really love being a mom. I love my girls so much. I love coming home to them. I love everything we do with them. I love everything about them. I think it's so freaking adorable when they do the worst things. Like, it's it's bad. Um, I just really love being a mom. So I'm not really sure. But I, I'm older. And do I want to go through that? Like, the pregnancy is the worst, okay? Not this pregnancy per se, but being pregnant in general, I do not enjoy. Some women love it which is perfectly fine. Some women absolutely love the whole action of being pregnant, you know. I'm just not one of those people. I think it's a major inconvenience for me, okay? <laughs> not saying having a child is an inconvenience because it's definitely a blessing. Being able to carry your own child is definitely a blessing. I'm not saying that, okay? I am very honored that I am able to carry and deliver my children and from what I've heard very easy delivery so far so definitely very very happy about that but y'all I'm an on-the-go kind of person okay I like to pick up things whenever I feel like it I can lift like 60 70 pounds easily okay without having to think about it because I'm just I'm a banquet server those trays are like 50 pounds I'm pretty sure like when you put 10 plates of food and put it on your shoulder that's like a 50 to 60 pound tray okay um and that's what i did for a living all the way up until my due date with della right so even though i still did it i wasn't supposed to supposedly and now that i have a sit down job they don't let me do nothing okay like they don't let me do anything and it's very irritating and also it's hard for me to breathe already i'm five months uh, friday was five months i'm shooting this on monday so a little over five months and like if i go to walk too long i can't breathe okay um but that's literally the only symptom is that i'm tired um i don't have any other symptoms which is great okay like wonderful what's one of the symptoms gets too packy <laughs> five months which means i am able to get the gender of my child but plot twist we're not finding out the gender we have been getting so many mixed opinions about that you know like a lot of people love the idea mostly the older generation who had no choice but to wait until birth to find out what they were having um but the younger generation some older but mostly the younger generation is like they could never like could never wait that long like they need to know like a lot of people get that you know early gender find out test you can get and they pay for that so that way they know even sooner than the 18 weeks but literally i don't i don't i don't know it was an immediate decision that me and babe made because we have two girls okay we have two girls and he so badly wants a boy but he's such a good girl dad that it doesn't matter to him what he gets like even though he would love to have his son his you know his 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 little uh mini him as much as he wants that he also knows that he's really really good at raising girls so he doesn't feel no type of way for real i am just nervous I'm very nervous depending on either way. Like if I have another girl, you just kind of throw it to the masses, right? Like I already know what to do with that. Already been there, done that. That's that, right? 
but if I have a boy it's starting all over it's you know how well is it going to fit in don't want him to feel left out because he has two big sisters I don't want you know I just don't I don't know what to do with a boy but yes I want one still because I don't have one and I hear that boys love differently for their moms you know so I don't know how I feel so we're just not gonna find out but yeah we're not finding out the gender until we have it um, I haven't even had another ultrasound. I'm due for one this month, so I'm going to try and make that appointment. And I'm just going to really have to have my face so I don't see nothing. Because obviously I know what that looks like. Um, and I don't want to accidentally see it. So I'm going to work real hard not to. Because I really, really want that surprise. I really want to like have my child and they go, it's a girl or it's a boy. You know, like I just want that moment. And then me and me look at each other like, ah, you know. I want that. I want that really bad. So I really don't want to know. Genuinely, I do not want to know. Okay. No one is going to know either. No one is going to get the card and we just not see. We're not having a gender reveal. We're not doing none of that. We're not having any of that. Okay. It's literally just going to be a surprise for absolutely everyone. Even though best friend wants to know so bad. Um, daycare lady wants to know like so many people want to know so bad and i'm like no no you're going to be surprised with us this is going to be a part of the experience all right <laughs> all right so yeah i got pregnant and it literally just blew a hole in all of our birthday plans and all of our summer plans but we were still very happy because obviously it's what we wanted so then we had the dilemma of holy crap where are we going to put a baby in this two-bedroom house Okay, we were literally like, we got to move and we need a lot of space. <laughs> so we started the house hunting process. Now, mind you, we weren't really ready to buy a house at that point because I didn't want to be rushed and my lease was up in like three months or something like that. So we didn't want to rush and buy because if I buy something, I need it to be what I want, right? So we started looking for renters, uh, rentals and we couldn't find anything like it was getting down to crunch time my lease was almost up i'm like frantic at this point because i'm like oh my god like we could make this house work for another year but mind you it's already cramped if we start buying baby stuff like it's it's gonna be kind of kind of a little claustrophobic okay it's like it'll work for about a year but it's going to be difficult so i didn't want to go through that um so we just kept going we kept looking and we kept like we were going on all these viewings now mind you babe worked graveyard he started working graveyard around that time and he's literally like missing sleeping in the daytime because we got to run and see all these freaking houses like we're literally scrambling at this point and we saw like two or three that we really really liked like Two or three of them, we were like, okay, potential. Then there was another like two where it was like, if we don't get the three we like, we can make these two work, you know? So we were looking for three bedrooms. We wanted a bath and a half at least. Like he, he lived with three girls, okay? So he knew that he needed his own bathroom because him and his kids are like on the same time schedule, I swear. So at that point, we're like, all right, three bedroom, bedroom for, because the girls wanted to share a bedroom still. Chloe made that very clear. My oldest child made that very clear that she wanted to share a room with her little sister, no matter what. And we're in the mindset of this is going to be temporary because we will be buying soon. So three bedrooms, perfectly fine. Bath and a half, at least. Hardest thing in the world to find in Pittsburgh, especially in the area we live in. It was just ridiculous. Or we were going to be paying a fortune, okay? So we're searching, we're searching, we're searching. We come across a couple, we put in applications and lo and behold, there was a couple of people who really wanted us, but the house that we wanted, the house that would accept our dog, cause I have a pit bull, if you don't know. And uh, a lot of people don't like to rent to people who have a pit bull. And I'm like, my pit bull old, okay? Like he, he, he old. And them little chihuahuas be tearing up the walls. They be eating at the carpet and stuff. Like my dog don't do none of that, okay? 
I'm gonna need y'all to reevaluate all of you leasers and renters and all of those people out there who got a gripe against pit bulls. Check them little ones. It's the little ones that like to dig. They're mice hunters. Like Yorkies were trained to hunt mice. Chihuahuas tear up everything. Pomeranians, same thing. Like they all dig and tear up stuff. My dog has never ruined anything in any house. Like he's for one too big to really do much, okay? Like he's too big. He's been in our family for nine and a half years. He is 10 years old, okay? He is not doing <laughs> nothing to ruin any anyone's property, believe me, all right? So anyways, we, we got the house we wanted. Like the house that we wanted, was it made like they wanted us? Okay, they was gonna accept my dog. We came into this house and we were like, there was like other couples, it was an open house. There was other couples here. There was like an older couple, a younger couple, another couple around our age. And we come in, I almost didn't blend this out. Ooh, y'all was about to let me forget. We come in and the living room is ginormous. Okay, like the living room, we thought it was half living room, half dining room. That's how big it is, right? But then we walk around the corner and we see the dining room. And we're like, oh, that's all living room. That's insane. Like, that's insane, right? So then we come into the dining room and we're like, I'm sorry, I got new hair. Can y'all tell? <laughs> so we walk into the dining room and we're like, okay, okay. We go into the kitchen and the kitchen's like, Oh my God, babe, we can both fit in here and cook. Like, oh my God, I love it, right? We go down into the basement. There's another bedroom and another room and another bathroom with a shower. So it's more than a half bath, okay? Mind you, we ain't even synced the upstairs yet. So we're assuming that the bedroom downstairs is the third bedroom, right? And there's gonna be two upstairs in the bathroom, right? So that's what we're thinking. No, <laughs> no, boo. There are three bedrooms upstairs and another bathroom with a tub. Why is it so hard to find a property with a tub? Like I understand if it's like a one bedroom or a two bedroom, right? Because it's like showers are enough. But when you're renting four bedrooms, you're renting to a family. Like four bedroom, five, you're renting to a family. They're gonna have kids that they want to bathe. Like, they got girls. They got a soap, okay? Like, girls, I don't know about y'all, but I take a bath pretty freaking often because you got to soak her, right? Am I tripping? How often do y'all take baths? Leave that in the comments below. Uh, but, yeah, we got it. I'm sorry. My allergies are not letting me be great right now. All right, so boom. <laughs> I tell my landlord, like, hey, we found a crib. We're going to be out in time. You know, everything worked out. Don't charge me. She goes, oh, you mean you're moving out the end of the following month? Tell me why I messed up when my lease was up. Y'all. The, the... <laughs> Like the adrenaline of trying to find a place and the pressure that we were feeling completely, I completely forgot that my lease had one more month. Completely forgot. So we had to pay rent twice because we had to pay rent for the place that we just started renting, obviously, plus the security deposit, plus all that extra stuff on top of rent at the old house. So that happened. You have... You have no idea like bruh so that's funds we didn't want to spend on rent mind you and uh we could have been doing something else but no robin messed up all my fault too because babe obviously he didn't know <laughs> so we move in okay so we definitely found a silver lining we were able to take our time and clean the other house out to make sure we got a security deposit and Definitely get to take our time with moving and everything, even though we wanted to be in this house as soon as possible because this house has central air and the other house did not and the summer was summering, okay? 
it was it was hot so <laughs> babe rented the truck and everything and we got everything like most everything in here that that weekend and you know his friends and stuff helped us out and it all worked out really well even though i didn't pack anything because i wasn't expecting to move that fast um he literally came home with a truck and said babe can we do this this weekend and i'm like yeah yeah we can yeah <laughs> uh but yeah so kids love Ooh. oh that's oh that's not oh that's ugly Okay, we're not using that blush. Let's find another one with Old Faithful because that was not it. Let's uh, even dust this off of here. I don't even want to use that. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we are in our new home. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms. Oh, we set up the baby's room as a playroom for now because obviously the baby's not going to use it for like a year because it'll be in our room for like the first couple of months. So. We set up the third bedroom as a playroom. Um, so then there's the girls' room and our bedroom. Um, the downstairs is the photo studio and everything. I will be recording downstairs once I get everything set up. Like this is why my lighting and stuff looks crazy right now because I don't have anything set up yet. Okay. That's literally my life in a nutshell at the moment. That's my life, that's, what, that's the catch up. That's where I've been. Um, kids started school. Della goes to school. My baby goes to school. Um, she is in pre-K and she'll be in pre-K for two years. I'm pretty sure because she's only three. Um, but she really, really wanted to go to school and I really, really wanted to stop paying for daycare. So she's <laughs> in pre-K and she is doing great. She loves it. The teachers love her. Yeah, and Chloe is now in fourth grade and she's just really happy that she gets to go to the same school because when we were house hunting we had to prep her for the fact that she might not go to the same school we might be moving neighborhoods you know like we might not get lucky to find anything so we were literally like giving her the pep talk and my baby is so accommodating and so like sweet she's just like that's okay you know so she was just really happy that she was able to stay in the same school because you know she got a little popularity thing going on you know so we were happy that we were able to do that for her as well so there's even though i've been mia and i've missed missed making videos so much it's all been such good news like i'm having my third baby my kids are happy we're in a new home family's doing great um yeah i'm just i'm so i'm so happy with how the past couple of months have happened and how everything has worked out for us because y'all we weren't sh like we weren't sure about anything like four four months ago like weren't sure of anything and now we can relax we're comfortable i can start making content again and i can be more consistent with my content because i will soon have a space designated for me to make content i have doors like two doors i can shut so that i can have quiet um but i do plan on switching up my content a little bit more to include my children because obviously it's a huge part of my life and um they are getting into fashion especially the little one they're getting into fashion and finding their own like creativity within their clothing and stuff like that so i really want to showcase that we're going to do some hauls and all that extra good stuff um and i also really wanted to get back on in time for my halloween 30 days of makeup because every year for the past like three years i have tried to do 30 looks for every day of October to get to October 31st, which is my favorite day ever. Um, it's going to be a little hectic because we are throwing a Halloween bash, um, like renting a venue, doing the whole nine, like throwing, because Halloween is my favorite holiday. So we decided, and not much goes on in Pittsburgh for Halloween. Like there's a couple of Halloween parties here and there, but 
I haven't been excited about a party on Halloween in a long time. Um, so we decided to take over Halloween. <laughs> so if you are in the city of Pittsburgh, we are having a Halloween party. Um, I will be having my flyer up on my Instagram. And uh, yeah, please, you're more than welcome to come. But planning that is going to take a lot of my time, obviously. It probably won't take too much of my time, but I really want to get all 30 looks. Like, I would really, at least. So the first year I did like seven. The second year I feel like I did like 13 or 12. And then the following year I did like 17, I think. 16 or 17. So we get up every year. Um, but I really want to do 30. If you have any Halloween makeup looks you would like me to do, please leave the comments down below. Because I really, really want to get all 30. And I don't even have 30 ideas. So help you girl out okay but we will be doing the halloween makeup looks especially on tiktok um some of them make up to youtube some of them do not so please follow my tiktok if you want to see all 30 looks but i really wanted to do that like this year so i had to hop back onto my social medias and start uploading so that way i can get into the vibe because i haven't been in front of the camera in like three months so let's figure out what we're gonna do to this head let's see how it's laying I feel like I just gotta match the lace to my scalp a little bit more, but it's it's laying. Oh, we get oh oh we get it somewhere. <laughs> this is how you know I haven't done anything to myself in a really long time because I've had this wig for months, just sitting, waiting for its moment of glory. I had posted a TikTok asking, uh, you know, asking everyone, like, what color should I do next? That was after I did that orange hair. Um, and someone said, like, a purple or a fuchsia. And I was like, oh, because my coworker was asking me to do purple, but she wanted me to do, like, a lilac. And I'm like, I've already done that. Um, so I didn't want to do a lilac again. But when she said purple, like, a fuchsia, like, I figured she meant, like, a vibrant purple. So I bought this to respond to her comment on TikTok and never put the wig on. So now the comment is like so many videos ago. I might still reply to it. Um, I'm pretty sure I did start like an, a reply to it. So yeah, but she is the reason I went and bought this body. Like the blend is not the best. It's not the greatest wig. Um, I could probably do better, but it's doing to do a far away. Doing a different far away. I once upon a time had a flat iron, but I can't find it. So we got the biggest curling iron that I was able to locate, and we're just gonna put some bumps in it and hopefully curl the front so it'll do like the little zhuzh thing that I like. So we got to be. All right, let me go and put on a cuter outfit to match this hair, and then we'll do the lip. So I just put on this little two-piece set. It's like shorts and the little fuzzy shirt. I actually got this as a gift from a friend. But since I'm just in the house, not really doing nothing because it's late, um, I decided to go ahead and put this on. I might take a couple pictures because I do feel so cute. Oh, I miss this. I miss this so much. Y'all have no idea how, like, getting clammed up even for no reason it just does something like it really does like i feel so freaking adorable this hair is really cute what do you guys think um oh we need a lip i think i'm gonna go with like a pink because i want like a girly vibe but we're gonna do like a liquid lip so i'm doing this dose of colors in the shade desert suede around like a lip liner but mostly just to create like a fade right and before it dries fix it first <laughs> before it dries pop in this is sephora lipstick and this is the shade 36. it's like a it's like a oh, it's gone no my kid must have dug her finger in it it was actually just in the cap and just pop that in the middle 
Like I didn't want to do like a purple, obviously, because I feel like that'd be too much purple seeing that there's purple in the outfit. But I definitely wanted to still stick with the girly vibe. Y'all, make sure y'all go run to the gram to see what pictures your girl posts because I'm about to take some pictures and they gonna be cute, okay? Also, I started some transitions on TikTok that I'm definitely gonna finish now that I'm glammed up because some of them been sitting there for a while. I probably can't even use some of them because they're probably so out of trend by now. But your girl gonna do something with this look, okay? We gonna, we gonna eat them girls up with this look, I'm just saying. But yes, so I definitely have a lot of things I would like to bring to you guys. But if there's anything specific you want to see, please let me know in the comments below. I am so excited. I definitely hit a thousand subscribers because that cow video went viral several times. Um, so I hope you guys aren't disappointed. The people who are here from the cow video, I do regular content most of the time, except for October, which is coming up. So stick around. You'll be entertained. Um, and then after October, I will definitely try and squeeze in all of your suggestions and I will be doing a giveaway soon as well because I hit a thousand subscribers and the people who were already here know that I like to do giveaways when I hit milestones because I just appreciate anything. I'm a very, very small, small YouTuber and not that I do this to be an influencer. I just like to talk to y'all and the more people I get to talk to, the happier I get and it makes me want to give things away. So, <laughs> um, because I miss 500, we're going to be doing a giveaway for a thousand still, even um, though I passed it. I'm like a thousand one hundred now, I think. Um, so we definitely have to circle back around and appreciate a thousand because I didn't get a chance to do that. So that'll be coming up soon too. So please stay tuned for that. If you have suggestions of what you would like me to give away, leave it down below, okay? Because I was just going to do gift cards probably because your girl is still short on time um and it already passed so let me know what y'all want though like if y'all want makeup again i can do makeup if y'all want specific gift cards to specific places let me know um but yes i can't think of anything else to tell you guys chit chatting went a little chatty this time the last chit chat i did i didn't talk about anything <laughs> You can tell I miss y'all. Um, but yes, beauties, thank you once again for chit-chatting with me. I have highly enjoyed myself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves as well. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like me and have not subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button below. And I'm going to put a ribbon on this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.